and today we're going to discuss a very important and interesting topic of CSAT paper, a probability. Hello everyone, I am Rakesh Nath and I'm a faculty of CSAT in Tutor Science Academy. And today, today, uh, today we're going to have a very small interactive session. And today we're going to discuss a very important and interesting topic of CSAT paper, a probability. So the thing is, <clears throat> Uh, if we have, if we observe the pattern of CSAT paper for last five to six years, the questions of probability that have been asked in the paper are almost five to ten questions. And if we include the questions of permutation and combination and statistics also, there are at least fifteen questions that have been asked continuously in last five to six years in uh, CSAT paper. So, given the statistics, the uh, portion and the weightage of this specific topic, probability, in a CSAT paper is very important. So, in today's discussion, what we're going to do is First of all, we will understand some basic concepts, how to calculate the probability, what the probability is. And then we will go through some very, uh, very recent previous year question that have been asked in CSAT paper relating to this topic probability. So let's start. So yeah, before starting with probability, we have to go through some specific keywords that have been asked that one should know before uh, solving the questions of probability. The first one is sample space. So it is very simple thing. It's not sample space. Is what are the possible number of outcomes our event can have? That is a simple space. But if we have an event, hai, usme how many possible outcomes we can have? Sample space is possible outcomes. Right. <clears throat> Just for example. Example, we have in this slide, we have three different uh, case and three, three different examples. So let us understand what are the sample space of three dif uh, these three different examples. So first example to us is a tossing of coin. We have a coin, we have either or heads or tails. So if we toss the coin, the sample space we will have is either it will come up as head or it will come up as tail. So sample space here will be two, two possible solutions, head or tail. So next our example is if we do, uh, roll a dice. So if we roll a dice, a simple dice which we use. Karte, so it has six different faces on this and all the uh, six different faces, we have six different numbers. So possible number of outcomes or possible sample space here is numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So these uh, 6 numbers are the sample space if we roll a dice. And this will this is nothing just an advanced version of the sample space, uh, uh, advanced version of example of example number 1. If we uh, toss two coins simultaneously. Here we have toss a single coin, a single coin, and the possible outcomes over head or either head or either tail. So if we toss two coins simultaneously, then the possible outcomes can be either head head, tail tail, head tail, and tail head. Right. So these will be the possible four outcomes here. Most simple as much as what we have done over here is uh, the first uh, just like this thing heads and head. So here what is happening is in the first coin we are getting a head, and in the second coin we are getting a head again. And if we take this one, so what will ha what is happening is in the first coin we are getting a head, in the second coin we are getting a tail, right? So if we toss two coins simultaneously, then the possible outcome of the sample space we have is this one. Four four possibilities are there: head, head, tail, tail, head, tail, and tail head. A very simple thing. So right. So we know what is the sample space is. We know what are the possible events can be. So then the basic definition and the basic formula of probability of calcul the calculating probability of our desired result out, out of the total sample space is so, what is simple probability? Ka fun kya hota hai? That is possible outcomes upon total sample space. That is probability. And probability is represented by P of E. So probability is a probability of function is a possible outcomes divided by the total sample space we have. So that is uh, the probability. Very simple thing. Ki paas kitne possible outcomes ho sakte hai. Possible desirable outcomes we can write. Desirable. Possible desirable outcomes upon total sample space. That is probability. Right. So this is all we need to know because this is a very basic thing probability. So here we have, we don't have to know a uh, lot of background, lot of facts and figures. So this is all we need to know. And now we will uh, go straightly directly to the, some previous uh, previous year questions that have been asked for probability. 
and see how can we solve these questions. The questions are asking probabilities, we can say a, a little bit of simpler question, but here we have to do some calculation and specific topics of permutation and combinations, statistics and calculations are being engaged in this question. Other than that, the pro topics of probability and the questions asked from this topic probability is very simple. Yeah. So the first question that has been asked is, what are the chances of throwing a number greater than four with the ordinary dice whose faces are numbered from one to six? Simple sa question, question kare, ki we have a simple dice and we are rolling a dice only once. So what is the probability that the outcome is greater than four? So great total outcome kit now is sample space. A very simple question. The total sample space we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And for desirable outcome, desirable outcome is any number that is greater than four. Obviously, in a given sample space, the numbers which are greater than four are five and six. Right? So these are the only numbers that are greater than four. Now we have to find the probability. The probability, the formula of probability is very simple. Number of desirable outcome, this thing, upon sample space, total sample space we have. Right? So it will be 2 upon 6, 1 by 3. So this is our probability. A very simple thing. So number of desirable outcomes are 2, 5 and 6, and total sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6, uh, six elements are there in our sample space. So probability will be 2 divided by 6, right? So answer to this question is the probability is 1 by 3. A very simple question, right? So the next question is probability of A winning a race is 1 by 3. Probability of A winning a race is 1 by 3 and B winning the race is 1 by 2. Then what is the probability that either A or B win the race? It's, it, it's, it's also a very, very simple question. We have two players A and B and we have given the probability of their winning the races. winning probability The probability of A that A will win the race is 1 by 3 and probability that B will win the race is 1 by 2. And we have to find a very specific desirable outcome. Either A wins or either B wins. SN you said that both are words We should be very careful what are the words used over here is because the words can be sometimes very tricky and the desirable outcome and the total outcome we have taken are more or less than the actual answer. So in that case, our answer is wrong. So we have to read very carefully what had actually been written over here. Here it is written, the probability that either A wins or B wins. We need to find this thing. Either, either or, or means that it will be one or one or one or one event. Either and or, the thing is only one of the two possible events will occur. So here we need to find the possibility where only A wins and possibility uh, probability that only B wins. Here we don't have to take We have, don't have to consider the case where both A and B wins. That we don't have to consider. So this is the only catch in this question. Other than this, this question is also very simple. Right? So our, if we have to start desirable outcomes, we have to start with desirable outcomes is a win, B loss, right, plus A loss, B win. That is what is with us, Ki either A should win or either B should win. So this is the thing. The first case, A is winning, B is losing. And in the second case, B A is losing and B is winning. So these are the only two desirable outcomes that we need. Then we have to find what is the probability of these two. Very simple. We know that probability of probability that A wins is 1 by 3 and probability that B wins is 1 by 2. So probability that A lose kitna hoa is called ta? Anna. So probability that A will lose the win race is almost uh, exactly opposite to this. Because two, these two events are mutually exclusive and complete events. Do it is either A will win or A will lose. There is no third, third option possible over here. So the probability that A will lose will be one minus this thing. Because these are mutually exclusive events and these are the only two events that are possible. Probability 
दैट ए लूज विल बी वन माइनस वन बाय थ्री नहीं जीतेगा तो हार ही जाएगा टू बाय थ्री एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी बी लूज इज दन बाय वन बाय टू दैट इज वन बाय राइट सो वी नीड टू फाइंड दिस थिंग ए विन्स बी लॉस प्लस ए लॉस बी विन सो वट विल प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ दिस थिंग अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग probability that a wins is this thing 1 by 3 into simultaneously in the exactly in the same event a is winning and b is losing it is happening simultaneously so b is losing the probability will be this 1 by 2 this is the probability that b is losing plus a losing probability of a losing is 2 by 3 this is thing and probability that b should win is 1 by 2 right so this is our total final probability 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 and that is 3 by 6 or 1 by 2 so the answer here is 1 by 2 a very very simple question i'll explain everything i'll explain the complete solution again so the question was we have two players over here a and b and we have been provided with the probability that a will win the race by with the probability of 1 by 3 and b will win the race with the probability of 1 by 2 and we need to find a probability in the specific event where a is winning the race or either b is winning the race so we came to the conclusion that a desirable outcome have two possible events in there uh, in the first possibility is that a is winning the race and b is losing and the second probability is a is losing the race and b is winning right so here we have formed a table of probability of winning and losing of both a and b and uh, the probability of the first event where a is winning the race and b is losing this one a will win the race with probability 1 by 3 multiplied by simultaneously when a is winning the race in our case b is losing the race so probability of losing of b is also 1 by 2 so 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 and similarly for the second event a is losing the race with probability of 2 by 3 and b is winning the race simultaneously so we have to multiply here also by 1 by 2 and either of the two events is possible so here we have add add the both the probability because either either uh, here the keyword is either ya to ye hoga ya to ye wali possibility hogi right so simply then we have to add these two thing and answer is one by two. a very simple question like right? so the next question we have is a bag contain 15 red balls 20 black balls each ball is numbered either 1 2 or 3 and then uh, facts are provided to us 20% of red balls are numbered 1 40% of them are numbered 3 simultaneously among the black balls 45% are numbered 2 and 30% are number 3 a boy picks a ball at random he wins if the ball is red and number 3 or if the it is black or numbered 1 or 2 what are the chances of him winning a very very simple question a very detailed and a very specific uh, this exp explanation of a desired outcome is also provided we need to find the probability we need to find the probability of the event when the boy pull out a, a ball which is either red and number 3 the first case that is provided to us that the ball should be red and the number of the ball should be 3 or the second case is the ball a ball should be black and the number should be either 1 or 2 so this is the desirable event that we need to find over here is this thing so first us uh, let us down which color ball is how much numbered a very simple thing kaun se ball ke kitne numbers hai so we have 15 red colors ball and 20 black colors ball red ho gaya black ho gaya and numbers are 1 2 and 3 right let us first make complete table here kya kya hai so first uh, data that is provided to us is 20% of red balls are number 1 So total red balls are fifteen. So twenty percent fifteen का कितना हुआ three. So three balls are numbered one, and forty percent of them are numbered three. Forty percent इसका हो गया six. So six of them are number three. So rest of the remaining ball कितना बच गया इसमें से remaining total red balls ये हमारे पास fifteen nine fifteen seven is remaining. Six is remaining to us. So six is number two. Now for the black ball, uh, 
40% are number 2. 40, 45% of the black balls are number 2. So total black balls are 20. So 45% of 20 is 9. So 9 of them are number 2. And 30% of them are number 3. So 6 of them are number 3. So remaining of this is 5. Right? So these are the number, distribution of balls with the color code and the number on them. So now we have to find our desirable outcome are desirable outcome. The ball is number uh, ball is colored red and the number is three. So red color ball with number three are six plus or because here is or if it is black and number one or two black colored me number one bhi chalega, two bhi chalega. So this will be five plus nine. Black colored ball either number one or either number two. So these uh, these are the total number of desirable outcome. These are the desirable balls that if these balls are being drawn by the boy, then the boy is considered to be win. And total outcome is obviously total number of balls. Matlab, ek thala hai, thala mein we have this many number of balls, 15 or 20, 35 balls. Hai. So uh, from a bag of 35 balls, usko ek ball nikal nahi hai. So obviously the possible total sample size is 35. 35 balls, usko ek nikal nahi. there are 35 ways. So our probability is very, very simple thing. Number of desirable outcome, ye, sum of this thing. And iska sum kitna ho gaya? Iska sum ho gaya hai. 21, 21 by 35, right? So this is the thing. Nice. Babu. Is the sum ho gaya hamara 11, 20 by 35. So the sum of this is 20, 20 by 35. And that is 4 by 7. 20 by 35 is 4 by 7. So this is the answer, 4 by 7. A very simple thing. Here the desirable outcomes are these number of balls, 4 plus 5 plus 6. And total number of uh, possibilities to we have is 35 balls. So probability is desirable number of outcome by total sample set, 20 by 35. Right. So the next question is, these all are previous year questions. Yes, sir, pehle si set mein puchhe ja chuke hain. And exactly the same level of questions are being asked continuously in the 2023 also. And next year also, these only the level of these questions will be exactly the same. So the next question is, a bag contains two red balls, three green balls, and two blue balls. Two balls are drawn at random. What is the probability that none of the ball drawn is blue? Exactly the same thing, but a simple question. Hai. It is asking, a bag contains two red balls, three green balls, and two blue balls. And two balls are drawn at random. What is the probability that none of the ball drawn is blue ball? So, pehle to our desirable outcome is ki none of the ball should be a blue ball. None of the ball should be a blue ball. So, uh, we have two red ball and three green ball. So, we have to select two balls in, from the given five balls. So, first ball can be selected in five ways and next ball can be selected in four ways right so these are the number of ways in we can select two balls and uh, the order of the balls is also not very important so here we have to divide it by two ye thoda sa tricky part ho gaya what we have done over here is i am saying we are we have to draw a ball we have to draw two balls over here and the possible number of balls and the number of balls we have are we have two red balls and three green balls so out of these five balls we have to draw two balls so the first ball can be drawn in five different ways. Pass ball hai, unme se ek hai. So there are five possibilities. And now when we have drawn the first ball, then we have four balls remaining. So second ball can be drawn in four different ways. So the probability should be five into four. But the thing here is the sequence of the uh, drawing the ball is also not very important. red or green And in the second case, pehle humne green di, fir red di. So inko hum do different cases. So that two, uh, that two different case, that two will not be considered at two different unique cases. So it, that will be considered only a single case. We have one red ball, one green ball. So we have to divide it by two, because here we have uh, counted the two sequence. Uh, the, the, we have counted every sequence two times, right? So that's why we have to divide it by two. So these are the total number of ways we can uh, draw two balls. 
from the given sample space of 5 volts. And total sample space we have over here is total sample space. Total sample space we have is we have two red balls, three green balls, and true ball balls, true blue balls. So the total number of balls we have is seven. So similarly, इसी तरह से हम लिखेंगे total out of seven balls we have to draw two balls. The probability uh, total number of outcome will be seven into six by two. These are the total number of ways we can draw two balls from these total seven balls. पहले हमने एक ball निकाली तो उसके सात तरीके हो गए फिर हमने दूसरी बॉल निकाली तो उसके छह तरीके हो गए एंड एयर ऑल्सो द सेम थिंग वी वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग एवरी इवेंट ट्वाइस बिकॉज वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग पहले हमने एक निकाला फिर दूसरा निकाला सो हेयर वी डू नॉट हैव टू कंसिडर द सीक्वेंस ऑफ आर ये पिकिंग ऑफ द बॉल्स सो दैट्स वी हैव टू हेयर ऑल्सो डिपेंड बाई टू बिकॉज वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड एवरी इवेंट ट्वाइस सो द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ड्रॉइंग एग्जैक्टली टू बॉल्स दैट आर नॉट ब्लू बॉल्स ऑल द बॉल्स दैट आर नॉट ब्लू इज ये दिस थिंग desirable outcome by total sample space 5 into 4 by 2 divided by 7 into 6 by 2 and when we solve this thing we have this is go yeah so it is coming 10 by 21 right so 10 by 21 is option a so this is the probability a very simple question as as this thing will i'll discuss the question solution again <coughs> so here what is saying is we have a bag containing two red balls three green balls and two blue balls and uh, we have to draw two balls at random and the thing is the uh, none of the ball should be a blue colored ball in sat balls so we have seven balls we have to draw two balls and none of them should be a blue ball so the desirable number of outcome is we have five balls here is two red balls and three green balls and out of these five balls we have to draw two balls so the desirable outcome is 5 into 4 divided by 2 If someone knows this is also five C two. If someone has a math background, वो समझ सकता है कि this is also five C two. This is the number of ways we have to we can choose two things out of a set of five things five C two. And the second uh, the sample space we have we have total number of seven balls and out of these seven balls we are selecting two balls. So sample space here will be seven C two. If someone is not comfortable with C and P, तो कोई बात नहीं हम इसको ऐसे भी कर रहे हैं. This is a very simple thing. ये सब समझ सकते हैं. So the sample space here is seven into six by two, right? These are the number of ways we can select two balls out of given seven balls. Now probability is number of possible uh, desirable outcomes by total sample space. So this is a desirable outcome four into five into by two, and total sample space is seven into six by two. So dividing these two things, we get the probability as ten by twenty one. So ten by twenty one is our probability. i hope the things are clear this is a extremely simple thing the only tricky part in probability is we have to apply this permutation and combination thing and we have to calculate statistically how many number of possible ways can be there how many possible desirable outcomes can be there and how many total sample space how many number of outcome in the total sample space can be there except then that probability is a very simple topic and lots of question has been asked continuously from the probability topic thank you mm -hmm.